I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. We're back with the 444, and now this is a Marlin 444, uh, 22 inch barrel. And um, now here on the uh, Rivers Gun Kingdom, um, I've done a lot of videos with the 444. And I always update my videos with uh, answers to questions or comments that all you viewers write to me in the comment section down below. So it's real important to leave me a comment if you have a question or, or you want something to go over again. And so I'm back here again and today um, I had a viewer write in oh, a few months ago about you know my uh, video that I did on uh, deer at 200 yards which is a you know really effective still for the 444. Anywhere out to 250 yards is effective um, with the 444. And the 444 can take out any big North American game. So um, not just for deer, but for anything uh, in North America. So the viewer wrote in and he said, hey, you know, um, thanks for the video, appreciate it. But could you verify that you shot at 200 yards? So you can see behind me here, um, uh, we're at the 200 yard range today. And what I'll do is I will position the camera kind of slightly over my shoulder uh, so you can see that I'm also shooting at 200 yards and then I'll put the the target a close-up target with the GoPro down in the corner okay so that'll give us instant feedback too but so we're gonna do that today and, and you might notice too I don't know if you can see that but I have a portable target set up at 150 yards and that's for another video I'm doing but um, I will be shooting um, this gun, the 444. I'm gonna verify that it's still zero at 100 yards. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll move that portable target up to 100 yards. And uh, we can just make sure it's zero there before we shoot at the target at 200 yards. But, and then and I had another viewer write in, in the, um, and I've had other viewers say this too, about these straight wall cartridges. And these are Hordendy, 265 grain. And um, they're the FTX um, with the polymer tips. And these are safe to load in lever action guns. But as far as states are concerned about uh, allowing straight wall cartridges, we all have to check the state that we live in and check the regs. You can get on the internet and download a PDF file and you can find out the specific regs for your particular state that you live in. Now, Ohio uh, does, does not restrict anything on case limits, okay, um, or case lengths. So these lengths here are about two and 2.225 inches on the 444. Now, you might live in a state that only allows 1.8 inches on the uh, uh, case length. So you might not be able to use the 444 in your particular state. But it's always a good idea to check your regs that, the, in the state that you live in and make sure that you can use a straight wall cartridge, okay? But in Ohio, this is, is perfectly legal in Ohio. The only thing they restrict in Ohio is the number of shells that you can have in your gun at the time you're hunting, and that's a limit of three. But in Ohio, there's no case length restrictions at all, okay? So the 444 is one of the straight wall cartridges that you can use in Ohio, and it might be all right for your state too, but just double check before deer season starts, all right? So those are the two things I just wanted to go over with you today. And, but we're gonna shoot at 200 yards, and, uh, but we will take a shot, maybe, we'll take maybe five shots at 100 yards and just make sure we're, we're zero um, at 100 yards with it. But let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. That top target's already been shot at with a 22 Magnum, but the 444 will definitely be able to see. Let's go ahead and 
go ahead and let's be positive in lobe three. Maybe that's all we'll need here at 100 yards here. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we're doubled up here. Now, we'll get going here. So the portable target is set up at 100 yards. We've already shot 22 Magnum at that top target, but with this uh, 444, we'll definitely be able to see where it's shooting. Okay, so let's go ahead and load one in there. I'm going to put the crosshairs right in the center of the bullseye. There we go. I'm going to verify where that's shooting. Shot high and to the left. All right. Try another one here. Crosshairs right in the middle of the bullseye. able to come down, but I'm still over to the left, aren't I? Uh, let's fire one more before we adjust anything. Brought it over to the right a little bit. So now that we've fired three, uh, and it's still shooting to the left, we want to make sure that that uh, we get we get it zeroed right at a hundred first before we go to two hundred. And it's shooting just slightly high, too. So let's see. We'll load three. All right, let's get it close first before we put one in there. All right. All right. Here we go. Crosshair is right in the middle of the bullseye. Upper target. Oh, I think that did really good. The elevation is perfect. Yep. But I am going to bring it one, one notch over to the right. Okay, before we load one in there, let's get it close again. We 
Again, crosshair is right in the middle of the bullseye. There we go. same hole as that previous shot. All right, so I'm going to bring it over one more click to the right. Okay. Yep, that helped. I think the elevation is good though. So yep. It's just uh it's just shooting slightly high. But uh, I mean just a quarter inch high, so I don't want to really mess with the it could drop it down a little bit too low if I did it that way. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to leave the elevation alone, put the caps back on it, and uh, call it good at 100. And now we'll go out there and change the, change the GoPro. shoot at 200 yards. Okay, so as I made the uh, adjustments here, I had two right here, right in the same hole. Uh, but anyway, then the final adjustment I made right on the top of the bullseye. And now I moved it to the right, I think three times. But I didn't I brought down the elevation just one time. Now you're gonna leave it there. Uh, so I'm gonna call it zero at 100 for sure now. Now we can go out to the 200 yard range. You know, with the 444, you have an effective range of 250 yards, even at 300 yards. Um, you still have over 1,000 foot pounds of energy left at 300 yards. 250, you have probably close to 1,400 pounds of foot-pounds of energy left. But the problem is, is when you get out that distance past 200 yards, your reference point is going to be, you know, higher than maybe the taller than the deer. Uh, so, you know, that's why I think the max is probably around 200 yards to ethically take a deer, and then uh, you know, 150 is perfect, but I think if you hunt in the woods, make sure that you uh, you uh, have your gun zeroed at 100 yards. Okay, so if we have our rifled zero zeroed at 100 yards, we're going to have at 200 yards. We're going to have about a six to eight six to eight inch drop. All right, and we're going to fire at that top target. We got fresh targets out there. So let's fire at the top one first. We'll get it close here. All right. Let's 
Let's go ahead and load five. So, you know, if you want to uh, decide where you're going to zero your rifle in, I would decide, I would make that decision based on where you hunt mostly. So if you hunt in the thick woods, I would zero at 100 yards. If you hunt on the edges of cornfields, on the edges of woods where you have a longer distance, I would zero at 200 yards. If you zero at 200 yards, just make sure you know that you're going to have a bullet rise at 100 yards at about three inches. Okay. So, but if you hunt in the woods, then I would zero your rifle at 100 yards. Okay, let's load up five here. Get it close again before we put one in there. shooting at the top target and I'm going to put my crosshairs on that top target right at the top of the target so that way I'm about oh six inches above the bullseye here we go I don't have any I don't have a scope with drop compensator here, so there we go. All right. I'm going to make sure that I'm on top of that target now with the crosshairs. All right. Because that's more than that's more than a six inch drop. Okay. Here we go. Much better. Yep. So, yeah, that's great right there. You know, so sh that shot over just slightly to the left, but, and then, but the one that I sh first shot was slightly over to the right, just not even a quarter inch. But like I said, we don't want to touch, we don't want to adjust anything on it. You know, that both of that, both of those shots would have got the deer. So we're going to fire five, all right, staying with the upper target, placing the crosshairs right on top of that, the white part of that target on top, all right. Okay, here we go. Practice with a 22, 22 long rifle or a 22 magnum and get used to squeezing that trigger ever so slightly because that's what's going to make or break you at 200 yards with a bigger bore rifle. You got to practice leaving both, close one eye or leave, leave, an, leave an eye open. So if you shoot with both eyes open with a scope, 
I don't like doing that because one eye is seeing a magnification and the other eye isn't. So I like to close my left eye and leave my dominant eye, my right eye, open using a scope. It's entirely different. I'm using open sights, but but anyway, you want to practice with a 22 so you don't close that eye just as you're squeezing the trigger. You got to keep those eye that eye open. Okay, here, here again. I'm going to place the crosshairs right on top of the bull, on top of the target, not on top of the bullseye. Here we go. Check the scope and see where I'm at here. So I got one more. Let's make sure that I'm right on top of that target. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed the video with the 444 again. And I appreciate you watching this video and all my other videos too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm sure that I'll be doing another video. I've got shells left, so I'll be doing another video of the 444. So ring that notification bell along with hitting that subscribe button. Hit the like button. It really helps me out. Share it with your friends and leave me a comment down below. You know, any more suggestions, let me know. Uh, feedback. I welcome everything. So, and I read all my comments. Appreciate you watching. Thanks again.